What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero. Welcome to episode 27 of our Pokemon White Domination. In the last episode, we had just finished the fifth gym badge, and we started making our way towards Chargestone Cave. Per usual, we did not get very far because these battles take forever. In today's episode, we're absolutely making it to Chargestone Cave and continuing on. If you're enjoying our Pokemon White and you're excited for another episode, hit the thumbs up down below. Make sure you subscribe with the bell icon clicked because as we talked about in the last episode, there are two series coming soon. One of them depends on when our graphics are ready, which they've supposedly been nearly ready for three weeks. The other depends on when I can figure out how to get my computer to install the right stuff so I can play the game. So you want to be the first to see those because both of those series are going to be awesome and I'm so excited for both of them. Now let's jump into it with a quick team recap so you can see where we're at currently in case you didn't see the last episode or in case this is your first episode, whatever it may be. First up we have Bitor, the level 32 Electric Poison type Bear Tick, holding the Amulet Coin with Acid Sacred Sword, Bias Slam, and U-Turn, and the Natural Cure ability. Next, we have Katita, our starter, the level 32 Ground type Mag Mortar, holding the Amulet Coin with Vacuum Wave, Cut, Lava Plume, and Whirlwind, and the Dry Skin ability. Next, we have Bridget, the Randomized, our level 32 Fire type Nine Tails, uh, with Strength, Acid, Ominous Wind, and Protect, and the Poison Heal ability. Next, we have Hammond, our level 32 Dragon Water type Weavile, holding the Expert Belt with Avalanche, Blue Flare, Zap Cannon, and Spore, and the Synchronize ability. Next, we have GOT, our level 32 Electric Grass type Bufalot, uh, with Electro Web, Copycat, Metal Claw, and Lovely Kiss, with the Flower Gift ability. Powers up party Pokemon when it's sunny. What does that mean? Does that mean that when the sun is out, just because GOT is on the team, the rest of the team does better? Because that's awesome. Huh. Interesting. That's cool. That's cool. Next up, lastly, I think we have Emery, uh, the Hacks, our level 32 Psychic type Porygon 2 Horn, the Eevee Alive with Bite Slime, Swift Hurricane, and Roost, and the Rockhead ability. That's the team that we're rocking out with right now. We can get to a maximum of level 35. What you want? Alright. Oh, is this the rest house? This is totally the rest house. Hold on. Let me take a look. Last episode I was talking about a rest house. This is definitely it. I'm not going to talk to those guys just yet. Because I don't want to be healed. The Stralton Cave. Yes, thank you. Thank you for explaining Surf to me. Is there an item? I don't think there's an item over here. Actually, I'm sure there probably is an item, but... Well, I wanted my Repel to run out. You're telling me I was here? You're telling me I was here and I wrapped up the episode early? You're t Is this Route 6, by the way? Okay, so I've already gotten that encounter. So we are here now. Oh, uh, thanks for waiting! Thanks, thanks, thanks be to you. Thanks for waiting. Looks like the nest of an electric type Pokemon called Galvantula. Don't know why there's a nest here, but if there are folks having problems, the gym leaders are the one to fix it. Crocorock, take it out. Where'd you get a Crocorock from? Wipe out. Nice job. And this here's your TM. This is my favorite TM, so you can teach it to all of your favorite Pokemon. Ancient power. Now, someone in the comments let me know that... Uh... Hold on. I don't know how good you really are, but if you think you can go, go where, go wherever. And if you're thinking you can do something, keep doing it. Do things how you want. Decide your own limits. Boy, literally just mic drop. He literally just mic dropped. Make sure, make sure you listen to that message. That's a good message. Make sure you listen to that message. All right, here we go. Charge Stone Cave, before I go too far, I wanna get an encounter. Now, I see someone creeping up north. But I don't think we battle, or maybe we do. 
our encounter in Chargestone Cave is... A Pika! Pika Pika! Pika Pika! A Pika Pika! It is a... Pika Pika! I'm gonna put it to sleep and I'm gonna throw balls! To be honest. Wait. Was Pikachu's hand up before I threw the ball? Also, where are our super exciting encounters? How come I haven't found any legendaries? Since like the first route. I haven't found a legendary since like the very first route. That was a whole lot quicker to catch than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, I was not prepared. I was not prepared. I was not prepared. Hold on. I'm almost there. I am now prepared. All right, we caught Pikachu, the steel type mouse Pokemon. It occasionally uses an electric shock to recharge a fellow Pikachu that is in a weakened state. All right. We are going to name Pikachu. 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 We are not going to name the Pikachu Pikachu as I was just about to do. We are going to name... Wow, I'm stupid. Uh, we are going to name it... Claudine! And we will check out Claudine the next time we get to a PC. Now... Let us switch... Let's go... Let's leave Hammond. Hammond is still our high... Yeah, I love Hammond. I like Hammond. Hey! 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 Get off me! Don't you don't you run up on me! Come! My lord, end! We brought the one you wanted. <clears throat> ah, yes. That was the Shadow Triad. Triad? Triad. Triad. Just now, Getus enlisted them in Team Plasma. Apparently, they're the ones who prepared the Galvantula less. The Galvantula nest at the cave entrance. Hmm, Chargestone Cave. I like this place. Formulas express electricity and its connection to Pokemon. If people did not exist, this would be an ideal place. You have been chosen, you know? Does it surprise you that I said that? No! Have you seen me battle? Have you seen me? Hmm. If you don't understand what that means, it's not likely to surprise you. I told Getus about you and your friends. After I did, he apparently used the Shadow Triad to find out about you. Sharon is pursuing the ideal of strength. Poor Bianca has faced the sad truth that not everyone can become stronger. And you are not swayed either way, mere of a neutral presence, which is apparently a good thing. Team Plasma will be waiting for you ahead. Guesses wants to see what kind of Pokemon trainer you really are. Alright, and well, thank you for that update. I hope the microphone picked up all of that. Ooh. I want to see what other kind of Pokemon are here. Like, hey, oh my gosh, you're so stupid. Hold on, come on, uh, don't, uh, let me tell you how this works. Domino, did you know this? The floating stones move when you touch them. Right, Professor? Hi there, how are you, Domino? This place is always charged with lots of electricity that Pokemon like. The electric charges react from one stone to another, and that's why some of the stones are floating. But not all of the stones can be pushed. My father asked me to research Clink, which is a Pokemon that looks like a gear, because I'm researching the origins of Pokemon in the area they appear. He knows how to get what he wants from people, but I was already interested in this anyway, so it's a lot of fun. Oh yeah, Domino, this is for you. That, uh, okay, let's just stop for a second. One, why did I get excited about a Lucky Egg when my Pokemon had been overleveled the entire time? Two. Is that randomized, or do I usually get a lucky egg? You know, sometimes, if I would just shut up and just... Hey, my shirt! Never mind. Uh, if I would just shut up and read, it would. I'd figure stuff out on my own. Giving that lucky egg to a Pokemon to hold increases the amount of experience points given in battle by a lot. Having strong Pokemon will make it easier to fill your Pokedex pages. Also, I poked myself. You see that? You see that spot? Anyway. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of hidden items in this cave. Who remembers the Natu? 
The Natu that evolved into like a Chikorita? No. What? That was a Bulbasaur. What did Natu evolve into? I don't remember. Alright, so Pikachu's hand is chilling. Oh! I see. Pikachu moves its hand. Ah, gotcha. Alright, let's continue on. Can we get all the way through Charge Soap Cave in one episode? I don't think so. Is it time for Repel? I think so. Yeah, it's absolute time for Repel. Absolutely time for a Repel. Oh, I could have gotten a dust a dust cloud encounter. Or I could have gotten a water gem. Is that a static encounter or is that the encounter from that grass? I'm gonna regret this if that was the encounter. Okay, never mind. It just wasn't accepting my click. Weird. Oh! Why did I remember too late? Also, I could have had a Rose Raid. That would have been awesome. I didn't have anything like a Rose Raid in Platinum. <sighs> Alright. Let us jump into the bag and pull out a Super Repel. Because I ain't trying to see... I'm trying to get through the game. See, now I understand. I used to always say that I never use Repels. Um, for this reason or that reason. Now I get it. Now I want to use repels because I'm trying to do something. I want to get somewhere. I don't just want to be stuck in this cave. I just looked over and I was so scared that my game audio hadn't been recording for the last two episodes. Uh, or I guess two episodes before this and this episode. Kind of made me nervous. Also, depending on the Evo result, this shirt could either be amazing or it could be depressing. I, I don't know. No! Oh no! I just got sheer colded! Oh no! Not Hammond! No! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! I wasn't ready! I wasn't ready! Oh my gosh! Whoo! I was not ready for that. This could be the end. 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 Right here, right now. This could be the end. It 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 could be the end. All right. He's asleep. I need to slow him down. So if I get sheer colded, I can at least do something. And then I gotta... Wait, why am I not going for Lovely Kiss again? What am I doing? I... I just dangled Gioti's life. I just dangled Gioti's life. Are you kidding me? My controller double-clicked. I just dangled Gioti's life. Are you kidding me? All this thing is gonna do... Gunk shot. That's gonna hurt, but... <laughs> Those were two Pokemon I really liked! That was my only 5th gen. Wait, Bitor's 5th gen. I'm sending Bridget out next. If Bridget dies, Bridget dies. Go for strength. Oh god! Oh my god! Bridget died! Ah! No!
<laughs> it's not fair! It's not fair! <laughs> if it wasn't for the level cap, that wouldn't have happened. Hammond would have- Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! This is a Kara Costa! This was a Kara Costa. It Costa me a lot. You Kara Costa me a lot. If that's the episode title, God, I hope I come up with a better episode title than that. The episode title is probably Tragedy Strikes. God dang it. We got sheer colded. He got sheer colded. He got gunk shotted. Are you kidding me? And then I got sheer colded again. At least these two are alive. At least these two are alive. Because I don't know what I would do if these two died. These two are potential members of our elite squad. Joe, or er, what's your name? Roshni, get on the team. Alonzo. Alonzo. Let's, come on. Come on. Come on, come on, let's go. Hey, Claudine, let's go. We've got places to be. You are broken. Wait a second. Hold on. I just saw that move set. I just saw that move set. Let's check out Claudine, our steel type Pikachu, sassy nature, with Vine Whip, Tail Slap, Bone Meringue, and Flamethrower. I don't have an elect or a Thunderstone, do I? Why would I have a Thunderstone? Where do I get a Thunderstone? Leafstone... Moonstone... <gasps> oh no! The guy in Castelia City, he just gives fire, water, and a grass. Alright, hold on. Uh, buy stones, Pokemon, white. <laughs> ah! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh! Oh wait, this is randomized. What the heck am I doing? In the actual game, there's a Thunderstone in this cave. Are you kidding me? Alright, 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 hold on. You know, it was a, uh... It was a foreshadowing. When they gave us this freaking Lucky Egg. And I was like, why would I want a Lucky Egg when I'm always way over leveled? Well, they decided to answer that for me. Well, our team looks different now. I was talking about using different Pokemon. That wasn't what I had in mind. You didn't have to take Hammond from me.
Is any of that my fault, by the way? I think it is. Because I didn't put it to sleep? Yep. Because I didn't put it to sleep, if I would have put it to sleep, I would have only lost, uh... No! If I would if I would have put it to sleep to begin with and not played with my food, then Hammond could have taken it out. All of it would have been avoided. All of it. Also, I just realized I'm probably going to run into wild Pokemon because I'm not as high level as I was. <sighs> Man, that's so sad. That is so sad. That is so sad. I don't remember the last time a Pokemon took out three Pokemon. I don't remember the last time I gave up three Pokemon. To, to only one opponent. Alright. Well, we're here now. Um, we're only gonna run- we're not gonna run into too many wild Pokemon. I don't want to fight these wild Pokemon because I know there are trainers in here that will give us what we need. Shut up. I was looking for an item. I was hoping maybe an item would be there. Oh. Oh. Uh. Alright, hold on. This is stupid, but I'm gonna look. I don't have a light orb, do I? Or a light ball, do I? I almost feel like I remember getting a light ball, but I obviously did not. Okay. Okay, no problem. No problem. We will bounce back from this. Eventually, we will find a... Thunderstone. Um, or we'll have to sacrifice Pikachu eventually. One of those two things are going to happen. This is not how I wanted this episode to go. You know what? I've, I've uh, been all over the place. Recently, I've been talking about the pace of the episodes. And I am mad at you. You're a jerk. You're a freaking jerk. Freaking jerk. A skull fossil! Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? I'm gonna grab whatever this item is. I'm gonna grab whatever the item is that's up here on the right, and then I'm gonna... This is just gonna be a rebuild episode. Cryogonal. Level 36! Someone help me! Bitor, get out here. Because if you get sheer colded, I at least, you know, it's okay. Sand attack! <laughs> Why did that do no damage? I mean, do what you want. I ain't gonna miss. Do what you want. I ain't gonna miss. I hate that I'm spending this much time doing this. <laughs> hey. Emery got two crits back to back. Took this thing out. Cool. I'm going to slightly run away. Found a water gem. Alright. We're going to run and get this fossil revived. Now, if I run all the way back here and this fossil sucks. I'm calling the Pokemon Company. 
I'm calling them. On the phone. On the phone. And they're gonna answer for this. I'm gonna tell them, how come in this randomized game, where I'm using custom rules that you did not authorize, how come the fossil sucks? What am I gonna say? I was not expecting that to be how this episode went. I don't know if that's apparent. I don't know if that's obvious. Also, I should be on my bike. I don't know if that's obvious. I didn't expect this to be how this episode went. I thought we were gonna get through the charge stone cave. But no. You know how insulting that is? Wait a minute, I just put that together. We got destroyed by a, a Karakosta. Karakosta is a fossil Pokemon. So what do we get shortly thereafter? A fossil. Sometimes, the game just thinks it's hilarious. I don't think it's funny. Nah, I, you know what, I'm not dealing with this. I was thinking about battling. Thinking about battling the wild Pokemon, because why not, but... Oh, God. We might just make this a super long episode. Like, not just a long episode. We might just make this a super long episode. You know, usually, like if we would have found that skull fossil and our team would have been alive and our team would have been good, I would have held off until we got the gym badge that we're going to get. Uh, but because we're in the situation that we are, where our team is making significant changes, I think it's important that we get it done now, so we don't put all the time into a new Pokemon that we're just going to put in the box. Because our fossil is amazing or something. Alright, what is our skull fossil? It's a Tauros! Dang it! Mmm! Tauros isn't bad. I mean, Buffalon goes down and Tauros steps up. Like, that's... This moveset is amazing, though. That moveset's gonna make me really consider using that Pikachu. But I kind of, I want it to be better. I almost don't want to, you know what it is? I don't want to throw away that Pikachu just because it has that moveset. Because if I do find a Thunderstone and I evolve it, and it's something that can take like take use of that Flamethrower... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That would be amazing! Alright. What gender are we? We are... Masculine. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, we have Matthias the Tauros. I know a guy named Matthias, great guy, great guy. Matthias, psychic type, gosh darn it, stop giving me psychic types. Willoughby. Tauros is just an annoying Pokemon. Just an annoying Pokemon. So you know what I am going to do? I'm putting Tauros in the PC. And I'm going to pick up Pikachu again. That's one less layout change for me. This freaking episode already has 15 layout changes. If I wind up losing this Pikachu, before I can actually use it, it's gonna upset me. It's gonna upset me. You know, I knew I shouldn't have recorded this episode because I'm hungry. And in the last episode, you might notice I was getting hangry. I should have, I should have eaten. But, I mean, there's so many reasons I just wanted to get it done. Uh, 
because I want to make sure that these videos come out. So I was like, all right, I got to get this done early in the day because I just don't want to, I just don't want to take a chance that I don't get it done for today for some reason. Also, Evo finals are soon. Evo finals are coming up soon. I gotta watch my boy. All right, let's make it back. Let's make it back. Now, once we get back, because it is about time to wrap up, and I am starving, as I mentioned, so... I don't know. Might do another battle or two. I don't know. I don't know. I'm hungry. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should just wrap it up. What do we even do in this episode? I literally took on two trainers, right? I'm pretty sure I took on two. I'm pretty sure I took on two. Two. Are you serious? Speaking of two, I took two steps in the sand. And it's freaking... I can't get mad at Pseudo Widow. Pseudo Widow's my boy. But still, I took two steps. Why am I not speeding up? I would have already been back. <laughs> Stop clicking when I don't click! That Caracosta could have ended us. Could have totally ended us. Like, actually ended us. He could have. But instead, he chose to have mercy on our soul. Our very heartbroken soul. Alright, now I need a REPL. Even though we're probably still gonna run into wild Pokemon. Especially once we get in the cave. Well, now we're level 20... Six. Okay. We are here now. We have made it back. The fossil wound up being crap. I'm supposed to call a Pokemon company. I said if it was crap, I was going to call a Pokemon company. So I might as well just go ahead and call a Pokemon company. Pikachu, shut up! You actually have a lot of moves, so I'm not messing with you. I ain't messing with you. I ain't messing with you, Pikachu. I could have had a Rose Raid. Oh, shoot. That's okay. Hi there. Did you lose something? Your team looks different than it did before. Did you find something? I think we're just done, about done collecting data. This, oh, I'm, I'm mixing their voices together. This cave has been around since the distant past, but data to prove that Clink existed more than a hundred years ago can't be found. So that must mean Clink suddenly appeared a hundred years ago. Where Pokemon came from and where they are going, if we can learn that, I believe we can get along even better. No, what, Domino? Pokemon are, like, mysterious. I wonder why these amazing little guys stay by our sides. I can't. I can't do it anymore. We're wrapping up today's episode. Today's episode, we did not get anywhere near... I'm so upset. I'm so upset. Half of our team down to one Pokemon. When's the last time that happened? It's because I went into this episode thinking about how I'm going to try, I'm going to challenge for the title of the best Nuzlocker because I don't lose Pokemon. I never lose Pokemon. Even in randomized, I very rarely lose Pokemon. But sheer cold. See, we talk about the levels not being very high, which I get. I totally get that. And you know that I wish we were higher level. But because of the level cap, because we're under the level of some of these trainers that we're fighting, stuff like that is a possibility. And I think that's more entertaining. I certainly hope it is. 
If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to thumbs up down below. Thumbs up for our fallen team members. Make sure you subscribe with the bell icon click so you can see our two new series if they ever come to the channel. Both of them in limbo. I don't know if either of them are ever going to show up. But if you're subscribed with the bell icon, you might be the first person to check them out. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. We will see you in the next episode. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, have a blessed day.